Perfectionism, Wikipedia article audio. Perfectionism, in psychology, is a personality trait characterized by a person's striving for flawlessness and setting high performance standards, accompanied by critical self evaluations and concerns regarding others' evaluations. It is best conceptualized as a multidimensional characteristic as psychologists agree that there are many positive and negative aspects. In its maladaptive form, perfectionism drives people to attempt to achieve an unattainable ideal, while their adaptive perfectionism can sometimes motivate them to reach their goals. In the end, they derive pleasure from doing so. When perfectionists do not reach their goals, they often fall into depression. Perfectionists strain compulsively and unceasingly toward unobtainable goals, and measure their self-worth by productivity and accomplishment. Pressuring oneself to achieve unrealistic goals inevitably sets the person up for disappointment. Perfectionists tend to be harsh critics of themselves when they fail to meet their standards. Definition Normal versus Neurotic D. E. Hamachek in 1978 argued for two contrasting types of perfectionism, classifying people as tending towards normal perfectionism or neurotic perfectionism. Normal perfectionists are more inclined to pursue perfection without compromising their self-esteem, and derive pleasure from their efforts. Neurotic perfectionists are prone to strive for unrealistic goals and feel dissatisfied when they cannot reach them. Hamachek offers several strategies that have proven useful in helping people change from maladaptive towards healthier behavior. Contemporary research supports the idea that these two basic aspects of perfectionistic behavior, as well as other dimensions such as non-perfectionism, can be differentiated. They have been labeled differently, and are sometimes referred to as positive striving and maladaptive evaluation concerns, active and passive perfectionism, positive and negative perfectionism, and adaptive and maladaptive perfectionism. Although there is a general perfectionism that affects all realms of life, some researchers contend that levels of perfectionism are significantly different across different domains. Others such as T.S. Greenspawn disagree with the terminology of normal vs. neurotic perfectionism, and hold that perfectionists desire perfection and fear imperfection and feel that other people will like them only if they are perfect. For Greenspawn, Perfectionism itself is thus never seen as healthy or adaptive, and the terms normal or healthy perfectionism are misnomers, since absolute perfection is impossible. He argues that perfectionism should be distinguished from striving for excellence, in particular with regard to the meaning given to mistakes. Those who strive for excellence can take mistakes as incentive to work harder. Unhealthy perfectionists consider their mistakes a sign of personal defects. For these people, anxiety about potential failure is the reason perfectionism is felt as a burden. J. Stober and K. Otto suggest that perfectionism consists of two main dimensions, perfectionistic strivings and perfectionistic concerns. Perfectionistic strivings are associated with positive aspects of perfectionism, perfectionistic concerns are associated with negative aspects. Healthy perfectionists score high in perfectionistic strivings and low in perfectionistic concerns. Unhealthy perfectionists score high in both strivings and concerns. Non-perfectionists show low levels of perfectionistic strivings. Prompted by earlier research providing empirical evidence that perfectionism could be associated with positive aspects, they challenged the widespread belief that perfectionism is only detrimental. In fact, 
people with high levels of perfectionistic strivings and low levels of perfectionist concerns demonstrated more self-esteem, agreeableness, academic success and social interaction. This type of perfectionist also showed fewer psychological and somatic issues typically associated with perfectionism, namely depression, anxiety, and maladaptive coping styles. Randy O. Frost ETAL developed a multidimensional perfectionism scale with six dimensions, concern over making mistakes, high personal standards, the perception of high parental expectations, the perception of high parental criticism, the doubting of the quality of one's actions, and a preference for order and organization. Hewitt and Flett devised another multidimensional perfectionism scale, a 45-item measure that rates three aspects of perfectionistic self-presentation, self-oriented perfectionism, other-oriented perfectionism, and socially prescribed perfectionism. Self-oriented perfectionism is having unrealistic expectations and standards for oneself that lead to perfectionistic motivation. An example is the constant desire to achieve an ideal physical appearance out of vanity. Other-oriented perfectionism is having unrealistic expectations and standards for others that in turn pressure them to have perfectionistic motivations of their own. Socially prescribed perfectionism is developing perfectionistic motivations due to the fact that significant others expect them to be perfect. Parents that push their children to be successful in certain endeavors provide an example of this type of perfectionism, as the children feel that they must meet their parents' lofty expectations. Strivings versus Concerns A similarity has been pointed out among Frost's distinction between setting high standards for oneself and the level of concern over making mistakes in performance. Slaney and his colleagues developed the Almost Perfect Scale revised to identify perfectionists and non-perfectionists. People are classified based on their scores for high standards, order, and discrepancy measures. Both adaptive and maladaptive perfectionists rate highly in high standards and order, but maladaptive perfectionists also rate highly in discrepancy. Discrepancy refers to the belief that personal high standards are not being met, which is the defining negative aspect of perfectionism. Maladaptive perfectionists typically yield the highest social stress and anxiety scores, reflecting their feelings of inadequacy and low self-esteem. In general, the APSR is a relatively easy instrument to administer and can be used to identify perfectionist adolescents as well as adults, though it has yet to be proven useful for children. Interestingly, in one study evaluating APSR in an adolescent population, maladaptive perfectionists obtained higher satisfaction scores than non-perfectionists. This finding suggests that adolescents' high standards may protect them from challenges to personal satisfaction when their standards are not met. Two other forms of the APSR measure perfectionism directed towards intimate partners and perceived perfectionism from one's family. Measurement the physical appearance perfectionism scale explains a particular type of perfectionism, the desire for a perfect physical appearance. The PAPS is a multidimensional assessment of physical appearance perfectionism that provides the most insight when the subscales are evaluated separately. In general, the PAPS allows researchers to determine participants' body image and self-conceptions of their looks which is critical in present times when so much attention is paid to attractiveness and obtaining the ideal appearance. The two subscales it uses to assess appearance concerns are worry about imperfection and hope for perfection. Those that obtain high worry about imperfection scores are usually greatly concerned with maladaptive aspects of perfectionism, physical appearance, and body control behavior. 
They also demonstrate low positive self-perceptions of their appearance, whereas those scoring highly on hope for perfection yielded high positive self-perceptions. Hope for perfection also corresponded with impression management behaviors and striving for ambitious goals. In summary, worry about imperfection relates to negative aspects of appearance perfectionism, while hope for perfection relates to positive aspects. One limitation of using the PAPS is the lack of psychological literature evaluating its validity. Daniels and Price refer to perfectionists as ones. Perfectionists are focused on personal integrity and can be wise, discerning, and inspiring in their quest for the truth. They also tend to dissociate themselves from their flaws or what they believe are flaws and can become hypocritical and hypercritical of others, seeking the illusion of virtue to hide their own vices. Researchers have begun to investigate the role of perfectionism in various mental disorders such as depression, anxiety, eating disorders and personality disorders. Each disorder has varying levels of the three measures on the MPS scale. Socially prescribed perfectionism in young women has been associated with greater body image dissatisfaction and avoidance of social situations that focus on weight and physical appearance. Multidimensional Perfectionism Scale The self-help book Too Perfect when Being in Control Gets Out of Control by Jeanette Duise and Alan Malinger contends that perfectionists have obsessive personality types. Obsessive personality type is different from obsessive compulsive disorder in that OCD is a clinical disorder that may be associated with specific ritualized behavior or thoughts. According to Malinger and Duise, Perfectionists are obsessives who need to feel in control at all times to protect themselves and ensure their own safety. By always being vigilant and trying extremely hard, they can ensure that they not only fail to disappoint or are beyond reproach but that they can protect against unforeseen issues caused by their environment. Vigilance refers to constant monitoring, often of the news, weather, and financial markets. Almost Perfect Scale Revised The relationship that exists between perfectionistic tendencies and methods of coping with stress has also been examined with some detail. One recent study found that college students with adaptive perfectionistic traits, such as goal fixation or high standards of performance, were more likely to utilize active or problem-focused coping. Those who displayed maladaptive perfectionistic tendencies, such as rumination over past events or fixation on mistakes, tended to utilize more passive or avoidance coping. Despite these differences, both groups tended to utilize self-criticism as a coping method. This is consistent with theories that conceptualize self-criticism as a central element of perfectionism. Physical Appearance Perfectionism Scale There have been identified three main components of perfectionism, self-oriented, other-oriented, and socially prescribed. Self-oriented perfectionism is an intrapersonal dimension characterized by a strong motivation to be perfect, setting and striving for unrealistic self-standards, focusing on flaws, and generalization of self-standards. Self-oriented perfectionism may also involve a well-articulated ideal self-schema. Other-oriented perfectionism involves similar behaviors, but these behaviors are directed toward others instead of toward the self. Socially prescribed perfectionism entails the belief that others have perfectionistic expectations and motives for oneself. Perfectionism can drive people to accomplishments and provide the motivation to persevere in the face of discouragement and obstacles. Rodell argues. Psychological Implications In a positive form, perfectionism can provide the driving energy which leads to great achievement. 
the meticulous attention to detail, necessary for scientific investigation, the commitment which pushes composers to keep working until the music realizes the glorious sounds playing in the imagination, and the persistence which keeps great artists at their easels until their creation matches their conception all result from perfectionism. Slaney and his colleagues found that adaptive perfectionists had lower levels of procrastination than non-perfectionists. In the field of positive psychology, an adaptive and healthy variation of perfectionism is referred to as optimalism. Exceptionally talented people are often perfectionists. Many individuals now widely regarded as geniuses were obsessive about the quality of their work. In the book Isaac Newton's Natural Philosophy, it is said that Newton, perhaps because of a basic ambivalence between wanting his discoveries to be known and his fear of criticism, tended to be fussy about his publications. When finding that an initial print of his optics featured errors, his response was for his name to be removed from the title page entirely, his reaction was the same after William Whiston used the wrong manuscript when printing Arithmetica Universalis. Scholar D.T. Whiteside likewise notes Newton's usual perfectionist manner. Other highly celebrated figures who were perfectionists include Filippo Brunelleschi, Leonardo da Vinci, Nicolaus Copernicus, Ludwig van Beethoven, Gustav Flaubert, Johannes Brahms, Franz Kafka, Stanley Kubrick, Andre Tarkovsky, Brian Wilson, and Steve Jobs, all of whom have been considered to be among the most central figures in their respective fields' histories. Gary Garrison wrote of Kubrick, his perfectionism led to a handful of cinema's finest works. Some contend that Michelangelo's perfectionism motivated him to painstakingly complete works including the statue David and the Sistine Chapel ceiling. Scientists that intently pursue their interests in the laboratory are often considered perfectionists. This obsession with an end result may motivate them to work diligently and maintain an impressive work ethic. Famous figures have publicly admitted that they have perfectionist tendencies. An intense focus on one's passion can lead to success. Martha Stewart once described herself to Oprah Winfrey as a maniacal perfectionist. High-achieving athletes often show signs of perfectionism as well. Positive Aspects The adaptive form of perfectionism is typically considered the positive component of this personality trait. Adaptive perfectionism includes preferences for order and organization, a persistent striving for excellence, and conscientious orientation to tasks and performance. All of these characteristics are accompanied by low criticism and negativity and high support and self-esteem. The positive, adaptive forms of perfectionism are more closely associated with the big five personality factor of conscientiousness, whereas maladaptive forms are more similar to neuroticism. Negative Aspects In The Guardian, Laya Maheshwari argued that perfectionism's bad reputation is unfair and wrote that when there, S. Even one ambitious member who LL create self-imposed deadlines and ask for a char to supplement the bullet point, the work you produce will be that much better. In its pathological form, perfectionism can be damaging. It can take the form of procrastination when used to postpone tasks and self-deprecation when used to excuse poor performance or to seek sympathy and affirmation from other people. These, together or separate, are self-handicapping strategies perfectionists may use to protect their sense of self-competence. In general, maladaptive perfectionists feel constant pressure to meet their high standards which creates cognitive dissonance when one cannot meet their own expectations. 
perfectionism has been associated with numerous other psychological and physiological complications as well. Perfectionism is increasingly being seen as a risk factor for suicide that has a double-edged sword. The tendency of perfectionists to have excessively high expectations of self and to be self-critical when their efforts do not meet the standard they have established combined with their tendency to show a perfect face to the world increases their risk of suicide ideation while decreasing the likelihood they will seek help when they should. Perfectionism has been linked with anorexia nervosa in research for decades. Researchers in 1949 described the behavior of the average anorexic girl as being rigid and hyperconscious, observing also a tendency to neatness, meticulosity, and a mulish stubbornness not amenable to reason make her a rank perfectionist. Perfectionism is a life-enduring trait in the biographies of anorexics. It is felt before the onset of the eating disorder, generally in childhood, during the illness, and also, after remission. The incessant striving for thinness among anorexics is itself a manifestation of this trait, of an insistence upon meeting unattainably high standards of performance. Because of its chronicity, those with eating disorders also display perfectionistic tendencies in other domains of life than dieting and weight control. Overachievement at school, for example, has been observed among anorexics, as a result of their over-industrious behavior. Suicide Anorexia nervosa General applications Ingeniuses Perfectionism often shows up in performance at work or school, neatness and aesthetics, organization, writing, speaking, physical appearance, and health and personal cleanliness. In the workplace, perfectionism is often marked by low productivity and missed deadlines as people lose time and energy by paying attention to irrelevant details of their tasks ranging from major projects to mundane daily activities. This can lead to depression, social alienation, and a greater risk of workplace accidents. Adderhold Elliott describes five characteristics of perfectionist students and teachers which contribute to underachievement, procrastination, fear of failure, an all-or-nothing mindset, paralyzed perfectionism, and workaholism. According to C. Allen, in intimate relationships, unrealistic expectations can cause significant dissatisfaction for both partners. Greenspawn lists behaviors, thoughts, and feelings that typically characterize perfectionism. Perfectionists will not be content with their work until it meets their standards, which can make perfectionists less efficient in finishing projects and they therefore will struggle to meet deadlines. In a different occupational context, athletes may develop perfectionist tendencies. Optimal physical and mental performance is critical for professional athletes, which are aspects that closely relate to perfectionism. Although perfectionist athletes strive to succeed, they can be limited by their intense fear of failure and therefore not exert themselves fully or feel overly personally responsible for a loss. Because their success is frequently measured by a score or statistics, perfectionist athletes may feel excessive pressure to succeed. Perfectionism sheds light on people's desire for structure and guidance. They tend to work well in structured environments with explicit instructions. Because perfectionists focus on concrete aspects of a task, they may be inflexible to change and lack creativity if problems arise. This can pose a problem when an unforeseen situation arises. While perfectionism has played a major role in the achievements of many highly accomplished historical figures, there have been examples of extreme perfectionism leading important thinkers to not release their works and thus fail to have the direct influence on their field that they could have had. 
Historian Eric Temple Bell said of Carl Friedrich Gauss, for example, that if the mathematician had published all his discoveries in a timely manner, he would have advanced mathematics by 50 years. Perfectionists can suffer from anxiety and low self-esteem. Perfectionism is a risk factor for obsessive-compulsive disorder, obsessive-compulsive personality disorder, eating disorders, social anxiety, social phobia, body dysmorphic disorder, workaholism, self-harm, substance abuse, and clinical depression as well as physical problems like chronic stress, and heart disease. In addition, studies have found that people with perfectionism have a higher mortality rate than those without perfectionism. A possible reason for this is the additional stress and worry that accompanies the irrational belief that everything should be perfect. Therapists attempt to tackle the negative thinking that surrounds perfectionism, in particular the all-or-nothing thinking in which the client believes that an achievement is either perfect or useless. They encourage clients to set realistic goals and to face their fear of failure. Medical Complications Since perfectionism is a self-esteem issue based on emotional convictions about what one must do to be acceptable as a person, negative thinking is most successfully addressed in the context of a recovery process which directly addresses these emotional convictions. According to Arnold Cooper, narcissism can be considered as a self-perceived form of perfectionism. An insistence on perfection in the idealized self-object and the limitless power of the grandiose self. These are rooted in traumatic injuries to the grandiose self. Narcissists often are pseudo-perfectionists and require being the center of attention and create situations where they will receive attention. This attempt at being perfect is cohesive with the narcissist's grandiose self-image. If a perceived state of perfection isn't reached it can lead to guilt, shame, anger, or anxiety because he slash she believes that he slash she will lose the imagined love and admiration from other people if he or she is not perfect. Narcissism Personality Traits Treatment Perfectionism is one of Raymond Cattell's 16 personality factors. According to this construct, people who are organized, compulsive, self-disciplined, socially precise, exacting willpower, controlled, and self-sentimental are perfectionists. In the Big Five personality traits, perfectionism is an extreme manifestation of conscientiousness and can provoke increasing neuroticism as the perfectionist's expectations are not met. Maladaptive perfectionism is more similar to neuroticism while adaptive perfectionism is more similar to conscientiousness. The latter positively corresponds with life satisfaction, self-esteem, secure attachment, and cohesive self-development. A study found that athletes with a respect and love for themselves exhibit more positive patterns of perfectionism whereas individuals who have a self-esteem that is dependent on competence aspects show more negative perfectionism. Cognitive behavioral therapy has been shown to successfully help perfectionists in reducing social anxiety, public self-consciousness, and perfectionism. By using this approach, a person can begin to recognize their irrational thinking and find an alternative way to approach situations.